Welcome back, everybody. It's time for us to stop learning new things and put into practice the things that we've been talking about in the last week. What we're going to do is add some of the new components that we've been working on, but we're going to do it together as we code along. So again, I'm going to stress that I really hope you stop, put down whatever else you're doing, whip up your laptop or whatever you're coding on, and code with me rather than just watching what I'm doing. When we last were coding together, hopefully you created something that looks like this screen over here. We'd gone in and we'd use width and different displays, padding and margin, and we've been iteratively making our page a little bit better. Today, we're going to go a step further and add some different elements, such as gradient. Instead of having three equal width sections, we're going to have some sections take up half the page, some take up the full page, little things like this. And we're going to be utilizing these new selectors that we've been studying. So let's go ahead and begin. The first thing that I want to do is put in that linear gradient or that new color that goes in both the header and the footer. So when I go to my style sheet, and I'm going to come up here, one of the first things I want to do is I want to put in that we need a new background for the header and footer. And I'm going to start by putting it right here. I know I cheated, I copied and pasted, but I wanted to do that. Oops, sorry. I wanted to do that because I kept messing up when I was typing. So what I've put in here is I've started off by putting in a background color. You always want to do that because if you don't, if for some reason the browser can't handle linear gradient, you've given it a fallback. Then I've had my linear gradient rule in each of the different web kits. So once I add that and I hit save, we can refresh the page and see if we have that kind of gray to blue color we were looking for. Hey, great, we did. Now, when I wrote this rule, you might remember that I put header, comma, footer. And that means it's supposed to apply to both of these elements. But it only applied to the header. We need to think about why that happened. The reason is, if we scroll down, you can see that further down in the page, I have said, I want my footer background to be this particular color. This overwrites any earlier rules. So I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to delete this and say, oh, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Refresh. And great, now it looks much better. OK, so we've made that one change. And hopefully, you're getting used to the idea of both using the comma to add to style two elements at once. You could do even more. And putting in these uh, WebKit prefixes or browser prefixes. If you get rid of it, it may work on your browser, but there's a really good chance it won't work on the other browsers. So we want to practice this. All right, well, let's take a look and see what we've got. I've got the gradient in. The next thing I want to tackle is styling these links. And again, I'm not styling all the links in the page, because if you notice, this one down here still looks exactly the same. I only want to style the links that are inside the navigation section. So I'm going to go right here. And I've styled my nav. It looks good. Next, I'm going to say, hey. Let's style just those links that are inside the nav. And we've made quite a few changes. If I come down here, we can see it. One, we've added a, something that looks kind of like a box structure to it. So we normally, you couldn't do this because inline elements don't take a width and a height. But we'll go ahead and play with it. Let's go ahead and start. I'm going to first say I would like the width of each one of my links to be about 22%. Save this. Refresh. Nope, no luck. So again, remember, one of the things I said is that links are inline, and you can't give them width or height. So now, if I go in and I say, let's change our display to inline block, we should have much better luck. Oops, almost too much luck, because the screen doesn't quite fit that. All right. All right, so great, that's one step closer. Let's add that different background color. And I think I made it white. But you can use anything you want. Boom. We're definitely getting closer. Little tiny steps are getting us much, much closer. So the next thing I want to tackle as we try to change our page is this idea that some of the sections should take up half the screen, while some of the sections should go ahead and take up the whole width of the screen. And the way we're going to do that is by using classes. 
If you remember, classes are a way to style certain groups of elements in similar manners. So let's go ahead and see how we're going to do this. The first thing I need to do is make a new class. And this class is going to say, instead of all the sections taking up 30%, I want just some of them, I'm going to call them half, to take up about, let's say, 45% of the page. In this way, it's only going to pick up some of the sections, not all of them. If I refresh, it's not going to work yet because the problem is I got rid of my section styling and replaced it with this class. And nowhere in my HTML did I remember to reference the class. So for the first time, we're now going to go into our HTML file and start making some changes. I'm going to go here. I would like this one to only take up half the screen. So I'll say class equals half. And I would like this one to take up half the screen. We've got that. We're not going to change the other one. So when I refresh, you can see that two of them are now next to each other. So I went ahead and refreshed, and it looks a little bit closer, other than I've got some sort of weird things going on with some blue and different things. So this is because I've been using float. And if you remember, when you're using float, sometimes it causes things that are next to each other to be basically in positions you don't want them to be in. So our bottom section, the one that we knew we didn't want to be floating, we need to go in and say, hey, there are certain sections we want to be whole. So let's go back to our style sheet. And I'm going to just do a little bit of copy and paste here. And I'm going to say, you know what? This one section, I need it to be class equals whole. So go back over here, section, class equals whole, which means this one should take up the whole width. Don't try to float it next to each other. And let's go ahead and refresh. That looks much better. It looks very much like we wanted things to be at the end. And again, pay attention. Only the nav links are styled, not all of the links. We've put in the gradient. If your gradient isn't working, it might be because you didn't put in your browser prefixes. We've really got a lot of little things going on in this page. And again, I'm not a graphic artist, so I don't make the most beautiful of things. But it's kind of fun to go in and create different things and see how you can style them yourself. So keep going, and good luck, and don't worry when you hit those typos. We all do.